Hey, it's Garrett here with Nelson Treehouse and Supply, and I'm sitting inside of our shipping receiving office. Before I get started, I do have a quick plug. So, hang on. All right, guys, check this out. We just got some new hats in. Um, I designed both these patches, and we decided to throw them on hats. And so, now we have a bunch of these in stock, and. I'll put a little link here, so if you guys like them, head on over and check them out. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm proud of these, so give them a like or something. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, um, let's just dive right into this. Please give me some feedback, let me know what you think, and uh, hopefully I can make some more of these. So let's start our descriptive walkthrough of the Orcas Island build. Go. We had just finished a massive treehouse in Kentucky when I got word that Orcas was in full swing. So I hopped on a plane and started the journey back to the San Juan Islands. I arrived on the job site with Dylan to find a platform centered between two huge trees. To say this treehouse was fully engineered would be an understatement. Multiple heavy limb tabs, steel backup struts, and huge metal I-beams held this bad boy together, all based off a cantilever system that would secure this treehouse for years to come. I was very happy to start this build in time to catch the walls going up. My favorite part of treehouse building. Wall day, as we often refer to it, is the day in which the platform magically turns itself into a house. So Devin grabbed the porter wrap, rigged some high lines, and we began to hoist walls into place. On this job site, we were lucky enough to have space to use Scratch, our company truck, instead of a winch. And because of this, we were able to get every single wall of this two-story treehouse set in one day. Once the walls were all in place, our to-do list saw some exponential growth. Rafters started getting installed in hopes that we could see a roof before we saw some rain. Framing began on the entryway staircase. Deck boards were screwed into the joists. Ram board was rolled out and windows were caulked and set into place. The whole crew was feeling confident, so we decided to take a day off and enjoy the island. Feeling refreshed, we cranked it into high gear. There were still tons of tasks to complete. The whole treehouse needed to be covered in cedar batten board siding, insulation and soffit installed, interior paneled with pine car decking, and outfitted with natural cedar branch railings. I found myself so engrossed in the carpentry that I would often forget to take my camera out and document. The days began to blur into each other, and before I knew it, we were left with a gorgeous wooden structure to live the rest of its days in the perfect setting. Thank you so much for watching this Orcas Island webisode. If you missed the time-lapse video, you can follow the link right over here and catch that. Um, please, please subscribe. We have tons of great content coming out and we love to share it with you all. In the description, I'll throw a link. So if you like those hats, you can check them out. Um, please let us know what you think and if you wanna see more of these and I'll keep making them. Thank you.